So I'm really disturbed uh, by this article that I I saw today. I find it incredibly offensive and racist. The French plan to ban uh, Islamic veils in their country. One of the reasons they give is, oh, it's a security threat. It's not a, it's not that big of a threat. I mean, somebody could just as easily hide something under a wig, a winter coat, a baseball cap, like, and just because you have some extremists and fanatics doesn't mean you can um, oppress an entire group of people. I mean, come on. You've labeled an entire group on extremists. Doesn't that sound like racism? And they say it's not intended to be racist. Please ex explain to me how it's not. And they're saying, oh, it's supposed to liberate women because the it's oppressive. Well, if they choose to put it on, if it's a part of their religion, who are you to tell them that they can't wear it? Aren't you in turn doing what you don't want done to them? You're oppressing them. And nowadays, Islam has progressed like many religions. Women get to choose, at least most women in uh, North America and Western countries get to choose whether or not they wear the burqa or the hijab. I mean, it's not fair to tell them that they can't. I wouldn't go up to you and say, hey, you can't wear the cross. That offends me. I mean, <clears throat> if that's the case, then maybe shouldn't other um, symbols be banned as well if it's, if it's so offensive? I, I honestly just can't understand this. I mean, you, you cannot claim to be democratic, to be, to being fair. I mean, a fine of $215 if you, if you wear one? I mean, what is this? Like, <laughs> I cannot understand this. I can see if somebody is forcing them to wear it. I can see that they should be punished. But it's a sign of modesty in their religion. It's important to them. I mean, in Judaism and in the Mormon faith, it's important to be modest. That's why in some wedding dress, the dresses, they have to cover up compared to modern day standards. Now, some of the people who've been tweeting and going on Facebook They've been saying, well, if I go to their country and I wear a mini skirt and a tube top, they would put me in jail. So if they come here, they should expect to uh, adapt to American laws or Western culture. It's only fair. How is a mini skirt a religious symbol? Somebody please tell me how a, a mini skirt has anything to do with religion. I would associate it to low self-esteem before religion any day. I mean, some people do it for freedom of expression. Okay, I'm okay with that. But when it, when it comes to religion, especially when you go into a very religious cult country, you have to ex accept their laws. I mean, it is seen as pretty offensive. And not all places are that extreme that they're going to arrest you. I mean, have you even been there? I, like, really? Come on, people. Mini skirts, burqa, they do not equate on, on any level. Now, I mean, you, you do have freedom of expression, and I, I do believe that is being taken away. But at the same time, I'm not going to walk into a synagogue and start screaming anti-Semitism or try to um, do anything that would offend their culture. Because if you're a tourist, you're coming there 
on your own. I mean, sure, if you're going to live there, I mean, you have every right to live there just as much as they do. But especially if you're a tourist, I really don't think it's going to kill you to wear some clothes. I mean, I wish here people would wear some more clothes. But I don't know. And the thing I don't like, uh, what I really don't like, is Muslims who are saying, they, oh, uh, that's, they jumping on the bag, bandwagon. Oh, yeah, they should impose a fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's like, really? Like, I understand if it's not, like, a big part of your religion to you, but can't you at least understand how it's, it's important to somebody else? Not just that. I don't know if you're doing it because you actually disagree with it, or there's a certain level of self-hate. But I know I'm running a bit long. I, if you have anything, just say it in the comments below. I love to hear your opinions. Just challenge me. Let's get a dialogue going. And remember, it's the 21st century. We should be judging people not by the color of their skin or by what they wear.